here in the i button and in the description box below you will get complete playlist of Fourier transform welcome to video number 13 and in this video we are going to solve a very important problem okay so before i start this video i would request you to subscribe to my channel and if you learn something from my videos then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of Fourier transform with your friends okay in this way only you can support me so let us try to solve this very important problem and the question says find the Fourier sine and cosine transform of x to the power n minus 1 okay find the Fourier sine and cosine transform of x to the power n where n is more than 0 or you can say greater than 0 okay yes so we need to find the Fourier sine transform as well as Fourier cosine transform okay so since we know that Fourier sine transform of f of x is equals to integration of 0 to infinity f of x sin sx dx okay and here what is function f of x that is x to the power n minus 1 here f of x equals to x to the power n minus 1 so for the sine transform of x to the power n minus 1 will become integration 0 to infinity x to the power n minus 1 into sin sx dx okay now in the same way we will see for Fourier cosine transform okay since we know that Fourier cosine transform of f of x is equal to integration 0 to infinity f of x into cos sx dx okay and here function f of x is given as x to the power n minus 1 so we can say Fourier cosine transform of x to the power n minus 1 is going to be integration 0 to infinity what is f of x that is x to the power n minus 1 into cos sx dx okay now we will use this form okay that is complex form fc that is Fourier cosine transform of x to the power n minus 1 plus i times Fourier sine transform of x to the power n minus 1 okay this is the real part and this is the imaginary part okay why this is imaginary part because i is with this okay yes so what is Fourier cosine transform of x to the power n minus 1 okay that is this part integration 0 to infinity x to the power n minus 1 into cos sx dx simply write this part here okay again i plus i plus i what is Fourier sine transform of x to the power n minus 1 yes this part that is integration 0 to infinity x to the power n minus 1 into sin sx dx okay writing both here okay integration 0 to infinity x to the power n minus 1 sin sx dx now we can combine both okay integration 0 to infinity okay this part is common that is x to the power n minus 1 here we have in this first term we have cos sx and in the second term we have i into sin sx okay simply write dx okay this part is in the brackets okay and you must be aware of this formula that is e to the power i x equals to cos x plus i sin x okay e to the power i x equals to cos x plus i sin x okay so this is going to be integration 0 to infinity x to the power n minus 1 is as it is this is okay here we have x so here we have x but here we have sx so here we have e to the power i sx okay dx now we need to integrate this part but before integrate we need to oh yes we cannot solve this integration directly okay so we will put this part okay that is i s x equals to minus t okay put i s x equals to minus t so on differentiating we will get i s dx equals to minus dt okay so dx will become minus dt upon i s okay here okay from here you can say x equals to minus t upon i s okay from here we can say x equals to minus t upon i s and from here we can say dx equals to minus dt upon i s okay now we can simply write this part okay as this okay how yes if you see limit is from 0 to infinity and this is for x okay but here we need to write in uh, the limits for t because yes here the variable was x but here the variable is t okay yes so if you put upper limit this is going to be infinity if you put the lower limit this is going to be zero okay so limit is not going to change that is integration zero to infinity okay yes here we have x to power n minus one what is x that is minus t upon i s so right here minus t upon i s okay power n minus one okay this part is as it is here we have e to the power i s x what is i x i s x that is minus t so here we can write that is e to the power minus t fine here we can write e to the power minus t and what is dx okay here dx equals to minus dt upon i s so in place of dx we need to write minus dt upon i s okay so what is this part you can see this is Fourier cosine transform of x to the power n minus 1 plus i into Fourier sine transform of x to the power n minus 1 okay so 
this is equals to integration 0 to infinity minus t upon is power n minus 1 into e to power minus t into minus dt upon is okay now we will open this bracket okay yes integration 0 to infinity minus t power of n minus 1 can be written as minus 1 power n minus 1 into t to power n minus 1 okay and denominator part can be written as i s power n minus 1 here e to power minus is as it is this can be written as minus 1 into dt upon i s okay if you multiply this with this okay you are going to get get minus 1 power n okay integration 0 to infinity multiply both you will get minus 1 power n simply multiply both you will get i s power n now this part is as it is and this part is as it is now write here dt don't forget to write dt okay yes now let us solve next step now this can be written as minus i upon i minus 1 upon i s power n okay and we can take this out of this integration part because this integration is with respect to t and this okay numerator and denominator is independent of t okay so we'll treat this as constant so this can be written as 1 minus 1 upon i s power n integration 0 to infinity e to power minus t into t to power minus n minus 1 into dt okay and what is this okay you must be aware of this okay that is gamma function this is gamma of n okay so this is okay here we can write that is minus 1 can be written as i square okay and here we have i s so this will get cancelled okay power n this part is gamma of n okay so here we, we are left with i i to power n okay and here we have gamma of n upon s to the power n okay we can write this as i to the power n gamma of n upon s to the power n okay now what is i to the power n okay i means okay here we have i to the power n it means 0 plus i okay it is 0 plus i or you can say 0 plus i into 1 okay so at pi by 2 okay this is cos this is sine okay so at what angle cos will become 0 and sine will become 1 that is at pi by 2 okay at <coughs> sorry at pi by 2 cos is 0 and sine is 1 so i can be written as cos pi by 2 plus i sine pi by 2 because cos pi by 2 is 0 and sin pi by 2 is 1 so this is going to be i okay so i to the power n can be written as cos pi by 2 plus i sin pi by 2 power n and this part is as it is that is gamma of n upon s to the power n okay now we will apply d moivre's theorem okay we will apply d moivre's theorem okay so according to d moivre's theorem this power will come to the in multiplication of it this angle that is this will become cos n pi by 2 plus i sin n pi by 2 okay this part will become this and this is as it is that is gamma of n upon s to the power n so here we have got this okay and what is this this is nothing but your yes this that is Fourier cosine transform of x to the power n minus 1 plus i into Fourier sine transform of x to the power n minus 1 okay so if you want to compare the real and imaginary part okay we can separate this that is if you want if you want to find the real part okay in the lhs the real part is this and the imaginary part, imaginary part is this okay that is fs x to the power n minus 1 if you want to find the in, uh, real part in the lhs okay in the lhs if you want, if you want to find the uh, real part then it is called fourier cosine transform of x to the power n minus 1 and if you want to find the real uh, imaginary part in the LHS, then it is, yes, coefficient of i, that is this part. It means the imaginary part of LHS is Fourier sine transform of x to the power n minus 1, okay. But in the right hand side, what is real part, okay, that is cos n pi by 2 into gamma of n upon s to the power n. In the same way, if you want to find the, what is the uh, imaginary part in the RHS, okay. So it is sin n pi by 2 into gamma of n upon s to power n. Okay. Yes. Don't forget to write this. Okay. That is by d marvas theorem. We achieve this result from this. Okay. So on comparing the real and imaginary parts, we can say finally that is real part is equal to this into this and imaginary part is this into this. Okay. That is Fourier cosine transform of x to the power n minus 1 is equals to cos n pi by 2 into gamma of n upon s to power n. And again, we can say on imaginary on comparing the imaginary part on the comparing real part we get this on comparing imaginary part we will get Fourier sine transform of x to the power n that is equals to sine n pi by 2 into gamma of n upon s to the power n okay so this is it thank you thank you so much for watching this video thank you